Hello, and uh, I'm Andrew, and I'm going to go through how to post live video to Facebook, in particularly how to post to the virtual open mic nights uh, when, when we run the open mics. Hopefully, a few tips for you. Thank you. Okay, um, firstly, um, Facebook being Facebook, there's no one standard type of um, interface. Um, Facebook for iPhone and Facebook for mobile phones in general is different to the Facebook you're going to get for your tablet and different to your Facebook you're going to get for your PCs and your Macs and so on. Um, so I'm just going to go through um, the couple of different versions and I'll explain to you what the differences are. Um, hopefully you can see this. This is the the mobile version um, just bear with me yeah so <clears throat> we're looking at um, Safari okay or um, better still the app um, it's better to use the app I think with um, mobile phones um, let me go into the webs the the page first so virtual open mic the group okay you should all be familiar with that and how to search for it I would hope um, the first thing you need to make sure is that you're actually on the virtual open mic page itself and don't go on your own page and certainly don't uh, oop, here we go we're going to make a mess of this. Uh, certainly don't post to another page uh, with a similar name. Uh, so it's Virtual Open Mic um, is the page you, you'll want to go to. Uh, and that's that one there. So let me just focus a bit better here. Hopefully you can all see that. Um, it's going to keep on going dark now. Okay, so... On this version, um, the app version on a mobile phone, you've got a live button. Okay. Uh, when you click the live button, which I'm going to do now, um, if you can follow me. Okay. Up will pop. Straight away, you've got the, the video. Okay. And if I show you very close up it's going to be posted to the public group okay you can add a description and then you can click that blue button by there to go live now at the moment it's going to record not me but whatever I'm looking at so we need to put it into selfie mode okay and there's me I think yeah there's me okay um, you need to make sure that um, also you're not you should have the phone in landscape mode like this and not like this because that's why you get you miss half the the, the video out and you just got like a, a sort of pillar box sort of effect and there's black lines on the side so make sure you got the phone in this mode and you can see yourself um, and that you've got something to prop the phone up. Um, you might have somebody to help you, which is the best option. Um, you you might have a little tripod, a mini tripod you can get for an iPhone or a, an Android phone. Um, failing that, just get a book or something just to put it, prop it up, just a bit like that. You know, just prop it up on a, on a book or something like that. Um, just make sure when you're videoing that everything's in the frame and you can see yourself you can see the the um the guitar you're playing the guitar just make sure you you can see the guitar and what you're playing um it's all very well being uh, on a um, an open mic night but if you can't see what you're playing and there's lots of guitarists who would like to see how you play um just make sure you've got everything in the frame okay and that's not you haven't got too much light like i have in the middle <laughs> Um, of the um, in the background, the background is quite important. Just make sure that you know the lighting is adequate, 
Um, you you haven't sort of darkened out yourself, so you can't see yourself, and um, that before you click on that go live, that you're ready to go live. Um, because obviously, if you're doing a a, a, a live open mic night, uh, you've got a number of different acts. They're all going to be live. Sometimes it goes later than expected. So wait until they finish their set. It doesn't take long to set up on a little phone like this. Um, and you make sure you're on the virtual open mic page group I should say and click that blue button there and off you go um, <coughs> I'm not going to do it now because that will actually let me go live to the to the group and that's a waste of time okay but that's that's your mobile version okay um, the next version I'm going to show you it's very similar to the mobile. Uh, this is the iPad. Um, it's a very similar sort of setting. Um, you can use Safari, um, I believe. I again, I would always use the app, um, Facebook app. Um, again, you need to go to the the right page, and I'm going to find the group now. Okay, so into groups, virtual open mic, and there we are again. Okay, so once again, you've got the live option. Okay, at the top of the group, a live option. And um, make sure you're on the page again. And I'm going to go into the group now. So, live version. Okay. Make sure you've got it in selfie mode once again. So, we're going to swap that with this icon here. See if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. There's the selfie mode. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> Try again. I think that should be me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the tablet version is very, very similar to the phone version. And as we can see, I'm in the frame now. So you do have an option to put a description of what you're doing before you start. If you're joining one of the uh, the events, it's worthwhile putting the name of the event and then your name. So you can identify as being part of the event. Um, before you go live, obviously make sure the previous act is finished. Um, and with the same as the... Um, the same as the uh, the phone version is pretty quick to start up. Okay, um, if you wanted to test this and test the phone version, go to your own page, change the the group from public to only me, and you can test the video. So you give it gives you confidence in actually recording something before you go live to make sure you're in the frame. So there it is. There's the public button at the top. Oop. And it will, you can change the, the group setting from your home page now, not from the group page. Go on, go on your home page. I'll do it now. And I'm going to do a video to show you. So I'm going to go in there. Slightly different on your home page. But there's live video at the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to go in there. And, and I'm going to change... At the moment, it's going to post to my friends, but I'm going to change the privacy to. Excuse me on this because you might not see it very well. But only me. Yeah, only me. So I'm going to change it to only me. Okay. And then once I've done that, when I actually go live, which I'm going to go live in a second, it doesn't matter. Um, so if I'm recording something, let me just get it around into selfie mode again. Yeah. So there I am. And um, when I'm recording now, it's actually live in a second. You can see it live. There's live. There's what you're getting out. And Obviously, you're not going to record like this, but you can test it without actually testing it to the the, the whole group. 
um, to make sure your camera's working, to make sure that your camera's a fair distance away from yourself, um, and it won't post to anybody other than you. Okay, so re remember that from your home page, from your own page, you can do that. Just remember to change it back once uh, you've done. I'm going to delete this, um, but that's that's a good way to test it. Okay, okay. Um, the final the final um, thing I want to show you is using a laptop. That's either a PC or a MacBook. Um, just bear with me, and I'll open it. One-handed. Okay. First thing. The first. The first things first with this. Uh, it's just going to get a focus. The first things first with this is that um, even though it's an Apple product, um, do not use um, Safari. Safari doesn't work with live video for Facebook. Um, also, um, the Mac hasn't got an Apple, sorry, um, a Facebook app. So you're left with using. Google's Chrome as your only option um, for instant Facebook live video. So we're going to go into Chrome now. Uh, let me just make this bigger. Hopefully it's still with me. Okay, so there's a couple of things you need to know about um, the PC or the um, the Mac version of um, Facebook in that they tested a new version um, I'm um, currently on the old version of Facebook but you can actually look at the new version um, confused me a bit um, I'm now getting sort of used to it there is a couple of technical advantages of using the new version um, and I'm going to go through both um, so first of all I'm going to pick virtual open mic and Hopefully you'll see again slightly different. If you can see that, no, bear with me. I'm going to focus on it now. Okay, see at the top there, you've got a live uh, live video option. It is okay. So when you post in, um, you know some of you have said, you know, how do you post live? If you're using a PC, uh, not an app. Or you're using a Mac, then it's above your. Um, when you're going to post, is above, the option is above you. This is the old version of. This is the current version, I should say, not the old version of Facebook on either of those platforms. So when you click on live video, um, it's a little bit more complicated um, than um, Facebook on the um, tablet or Facebook on the uh, mobile okay so this is the current version of going live uh, with my ugly mug um, we're also gonna have a look at what you can do so it it, there is a couple of options at the top. I hope you can see this. Um, I'm not gonna. I hope it's focusing. The focus is right. So it says camera or connect. Okay, we're just gonna focus on the fact that if you use it on a laptop, you should have a built-in camera, so you can use that option. There are other options where you can connect sort of external devices or use other software, um, which is bit more than what we're going to go into here okay this is the basics we need to know okay so it's camera you need to select again you've got an option there to put something about the post before you go live and you can also um, sort of choose which camera you're going to be using if you've got multiple cameras so this is a, just the standard camera we're using here um, okay and there's a go live button at the bottom so that's the existing Facebook on a PC or a Mac. Okay, um, the 
thing again is to make sure you're, you're completely in the frame and you can see everything you need to see. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for now and I'm gonna you and I'm gonna show you the new version and some of the extra bells and whistles. Okay, this is the new version of um, Facebook Live, and I'm gonna go back to where we started and explain to you how to get there. So I've got a number of different groups there. Um, virtual open mics on my list as one of my favourites, so I put it at the top, and I, that takes me to the virtual open mic group. And as before, the live video is there at the top before you post anything. So you click. So you watch the live feeds from everybody. Okay, uh, you should have an um, from the the um, open mic organizer. You should be told what time you're going to be posting live. Um, don't just post live at that time because um, you know things happen. Things may slow down the, the, the act before you need to finish. So if you can watch the live stream of the act before you, once they finish, okay, it shouldn't take you long to get in a position to actually post live. Um, it just needs a bit more familiarity with what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to click live video here. Okay, now now it's actually forcing me. This is the old version I've just showed you. It's forcing me to try the new version, which is called Live Producer, and that's what we're going to do now. Okay, um, right. Now, Live Producer's got a number of different options. Okay, but I'm just going to show you the very basics to start off with, and then I'm going to show you some of the additional options you have. Now, first of all, it says go live now, okay, or schedule a live video. I'll come to that in a second. All right, you already have yourself in a window there at the bottom, a preview window. You can see what, what should happen when you go live properly. Um, what you have to make sure, and this, I failed on this when I first started using it, that when it says get started, that should say camera. If it doesn't say camera, it might say stream, um, and you won't see, if, if it's not on camera, you won't see yourself in the preview, all right? So make sure, you if you see the options, uh, you've got use stream keys, use paired encoders, or camera. So if you think it's not gonna work, um, you'll probably be doing the same as what I did. It's that, it, if you just go in there uh, without getting your camera ready then it'll go to stream keys and you won't see anything on the preview and it won't work so just make sure it's in camera mode first okay there are some sort of really advanced options for people using external software underneath for about streams and things like that okay and also you've got some let me have a look let me move this down whoops sorry about this it's all uh, holding a camera and doing all this is difficult. There's some setup options at the bottom, as you can see, it's asking which camera you want to use. Um, and also, again, this is important, before you actually go live, make sure that it's sharing, not to your page, but to the group, and the group is Virtual Open Mic, and you use the drop-down to pick a Virtual Open Mic. If you start off in Virtual Open Mic when you're posting, it should automatically default to that. But if you go to the wrong place, uh, before you post, uh, I've done that as well. It's you know when you're sort of working quickly and you want to get up on running, uh, just make sure you've got the virtual open mic there set up, um, and then it's the go live button below. All right, so you've got your preview. You can see yourself in in the in the preview. Um, you've got your go live now ticked, and you're ready to go by clicking go live. Okay. Um, and then you will have a window there for all the comments and everything to come in and you'll have a, a bigger pre a, priv a bigger window of yourself. I can't show you now. I will show it to you in a second, but on my page and nobody else will be looking. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple of the uh, advanced features. Um, now if you're an organizer of uh, um, a virtual open mic, you might be interested in this. It probably doesn't work for everybody who's sort of got a set during the night. But if you want to start your night off by going live 
at exactly a specific time you can schedule the live video okay so get everything ready you put your titles in you put your um, details in of what it's about you know you can put a, a live video title there and schedule it at the time that your your, your night's going to start and what will happen then on the virtual open mic night you'll have a countdown timer okay and it will sort of draw attention for everybody to get in ready for for the live video um, again that could go pear shape it did for me on the first night so make sure that all the other settings are correct and you can see yourself in the video schedule your live video um, and then it should come on exactly at that time and you should be able to go live um, oh my batteries are quite low um, right I'm gonna pause that for a second okay um, so the other thing that is an advanced option um, across the top you've got a couple of different options here stream health it tells you how your how your, your internet connection is doing. Um, polls and questions. Now, polls and questions you can set up before you go live. Okay, um, and I I will set one up now quickly and explain to you what it's all about and how it could be used for for the virtual open mic, I suppose. So bear with me. Okay, um, so this is polls. Um, you can create your own questions, and perhaps when you uh, in the middle of your life set, people can vote on what song they want you to hear, or you can set a question so you could ask people what song they want you to play, for instance. So it's pretty easy to create. Okay, um, I'm going to show you then, I'm going to do a, a, a test live transmission and I could show you how you could sort of start the poll off and you can look at who's voting and, and you know, what the voting scores are and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm not going to share this with a group, obviously I'm going to have to change it to my own feed. Uh, if you just bear with me and I'll sort this out. So I'm going to share timeline this can be shared in my timeline and I've changed this privacy as I said before for testing purposes just me okay so we're gonna go live uh, I've got a poll ready yeah oh I did have a poll ready oh there it is there it is and then we're gonna post that during the live broadcast okay so here we go so I'm gonna go down the bottom Go live and it's counting down now. Okay, and hopefully you'll see a full page in a second. Ba -ba -ba. Let's hope so. Here we go. So let's get, let's get rid of the full screen first. Okay, so there's the full screen. Okay, I've just maximized that from the corner and um if you can see underneath, this is where people would post their comments. That's how you end the live show. You can write your own comments if you wanted to. Um, this is you see yourself. And then below, there's a little button there. Now if I click on that, it then loads. So you're still recording yourself, but then you can sort of quickly um, you've got a preview going. You can quickly sort of get the poll up and running. Here we are. Uh, publish poll. So I've clicked on it and clicked publish poll. And there we are. It's your. It's it's starting then to re receive um, votes. Okay, so that is live. If I was going out to the the open mic night site. Uh, virtual open mic night site, then you would start to see people, you would hope anyway, vote in for which song they like to play. Um, and then I can quickly go back to seeing myself in the big screen by maximizing that. And there we are. Okay, so maybe at the start of the set, maybe in between a song, you can just flick around the screen, set the wheels in motion for the, um, the poll. 
it's all a, a bit advanced stuff you don't have to do this but it's there for you to use and um, then in between songs you can check the progress um, and if you are going to have a choice of songs uh, during the set and obviously if you've only got four set four songs to play with um, just keep an eye on the time um, you know because there will be other artists playing and they'll all be waiting for their turn so try and stay within the limits of the organizer the organizer set you um, maybe three songs maybe four songs maybe they'll give you a time so 15 minutes 20 minutes um, so bear that in mind when you're actually using this live app that these things sort of swapping around can take time uh, they might always, not always go smoothly so uh, just just keep you know keep things in in reserve just in case you have to switch your songs at last minute you know if somebody else has just played the song you're going to play you might want to keep a spare song in hand have a, have a thought about what you're going to be um, saying in between songs uh, if anything you know um, you just might want to go with the flow, which is okay, but you, you you might always you might dry up a bit, and particularly when it's live, um, things can quickly sort of change if if you're not prepared for things whilst they're happening. So I'm um, I'm going to end this video. Um, okay, so I'm going to post. When you're ending videos, live videos, make sure you don't delete it. There's a delete option there. We all want to see what's happened after the post has been made. We might not make it live, but we want to watch it. And obviously, it's, it's good to have some feedback after the event itself. So don't don't delete it, okay? Um, so I'm hoping you found this um, a bit of use. I'm sorry if the camera work hasn't been all that good. I've uh, to focus on this can be quite difficult sometimes um, so the, as I said I've gone through the different types of um, interfaces you'll get with Facebook I've gone through some of the different options you have for streaming and some of the tips um, I'm hoping it's going to encourage some of you out there to uh, to join us on one of the open mic nights online thank you very much